Interest and insurance rates slow the region's real estate market as we approach 2024. As Ashlyn Brothers reports, real estate experts say now might be the time to buy. Angela Davis says she's living in her current uptown rental on borrowed time. We've been here for a year um, and it's been on the market that entire time. Though she doesn't seem too concerned about it selling anytime soon. I think that right now New Orleans is really struggling with its reputation. The state of the real estate market is driven by high interest and insurance rates. With them being so high right now, it's not a surprise that people are not really looking. Louis Faust is the president of the Southern Insurance Agency. In the last five years, um, people seem to forget we've had nine major storms that hit the Gulf Coast region. And no matter if the storms hit Florida or the New Orleans area, it's the same insurance carriers that are riding in the same geographic areas. He says we've seen a major uptick in the rates over the last couple years, but there are more carriers starting to come into these geographic areas. In the supply and demand, when we have more carriers in a, in a local area, that the prices will start driving down. We won't see those prices decreasing anytime soon on the residential market front. It's all dictated by the storms. It's a trend. It's what we've seen every 10 years traditionally. We're taking a look at the, the industry as a whole and saying, hey, what can we do to better build the homes uh, moving into the future? With the four to five roofs, uh, we are looking at some of the carriers giving some credits to those uh, individuals that are participating in that. Real estate analyst Arthur Sturbko tells me even if sellers who currently have a 3% interest rate get offers at listing price, they'd be jumping to the current 7% rate, and that's making many rethink selling. We're seeing a lot of sellers just kind of frozen in the market because of these interest rates. He estimates interest rates may get down to the 6% range by the end of 2024, which he says should help a lot. But even then, it's hard to find inventory and at that well-priced inventory. Sturpko says a lot of people are downsizing to keep the cost down. The time to buy is when nobody wants it. The time to sell is when everybody wants it. And this is the time where there are few buyers in the market and there's some, I hate to say desperate sellers, but there are. Sturpko says inflation slowed and in some cases stifled new construction. You can look at the mortgage companies and title companies and their volumes are down by 30, 40, 50 percent. He says some landlords are raising their rates to keep up, but many bought the homes during the days of two to three percent fixed interest, making renting look more and more attractive for people like the Davis family. Ashland Brothers, Fox 8, Local First.